in a world covered by endless water. People are forced to eke out a living on the small patches of land that remain above the sea. The people of this world rely on ancient technology driven by quantum refractors, a powerful energy source. These refractors lie in ancient ruins underground and in the sea and are sought out by explorers called diggers. These brave explorers are the sole source of refractor energy, which has become a cornerstone of the emerging civilizations. Originally, this was the diggers' only purpose, to find refractors so that civilization might endure. However, over the years, the story of a fabulous treasure, the legendary Mother Lode, began to be whispered among the diggers. The Mother Lode, a treasure so great that if it were discovered, it would provide so much power that the world never need fear running out of energy. Seeking this Mother Lode, diggers travel from one island to another in their flying machines, ever hoping that they'll find what they seek just over the horizon. Hope. Despair. Charity. Greed. Duty. Power. Who can say what truly motivates the diggers? Welcome, guys, and welcome to another entry from the vault. So today we have Mega Man Legends. Released for the PlayStation 1 in 1998, developed and published by Capcom. So this is a completely new entry in the mainline Mega Man series. This game star stars Mega Man Volnut, a digger that was adopted by Barrel Casket and his granddaughter, Roll. This game is definitely its own thing, as it doesn't play anything like the classic series or the X games. This is more of an action-adventure game, where you get to f explore fully 3D environments looking for treasure. There is also combat as well. You can upgrade Mega Man's Buster by equipping him with various parts and special weapons, either found in treasure chests or bought at shops. You can also increase Mega's max HP and find armor pieces for him as well. This game is a little dated and it isn't perfect, but it's still fun and the voice acting is great. The, the visuals hold up pr really well, too. So this game takes place on a flooded world with a bunch of islands scattered about. The main energy source people rely on... Whoa, that's a big serve button. Oh. <laughs> the main energy source people rely on are refractors, giant gems that diggers go around trying to dig up, braving the traps and reaver bots inside of dungeons to find. However, what every digger aims to find is the mother load, which rumors say is an item of infinite energy and potential. Mega Man, Roll, and Barrel end up on Catalox Island after the ship after their ship, the Flutter, crash lands there. While trying to repair the ship, they end up dealing with pirates called the Bond family, who are looking to dig up a major treasure on the island. Could the legendary mother load be right beneath their feet? Okay, so let's start a new game. Here we go. Here we go. Mega Man? Mega Man? Mega Man? Can you hear me? Just barely. The transmission isn't too clear. I got worried because the transmission got cut off suddenly. I'm okay. I think this is the last door. Hmm. Just look at these facial animations. They're amazing. For the PS1, at least. Whoa, it's still active. The reactor's still running. Great. What about the refractor? It's here. It's a big one, too. All right. Now maybe we can finally get some money. Be careful. Uh. Well, that was easy. Uh-oh. The run. I'm okay, Roll. Everything's all right here. Don't 
count your chickens yet. I'm picking something up on my screen. Looks like a reaver bot. You'd better get out of there. Come on. Right. You see anything? Let me know. Here we go! Alright, let's rock, Mega Man. So that's our basic bu what our basic buster looks like. So we have four main statistics for the buster. Attack, energy, range, and rapid. So as it stands, we can only have up to three buster shots uh, at a time on screen, just like regular Mega Man. But depending on which parts we have, we can increase the range, the, the actual attack power, stuff like that. Alright, so... It does control a little odd, I will say that. Wait a second. There should be a reaver bot around there somewhere. Can you see it? It looks like a small one. You should be able to take it down with your buster gun. Thanks, Roll. So yeah, Mega Man ex explores the dungeons for refractors, and Roll acts as his assistant. I think they're called like Spotter or Navigator, something like that. Ow. So if you like attack and f move like this, and, and like spam that and the attack button, you can attack a lot faster. It's pretty useful. Ow. Nope, nothing there. Can you see a door nearby? Yeah, but we're not gonna go to it. We're gonna look around first. Oh, ow. <laughs> and get kicked around, but it's okay. We're exploring. I don't like the way that looks. Maybe you better head back. Or maybe I'll be okay. <laughs> I forgot about the kick in this game. I forgot. There's a way to like alternate kick the legs with the kick, but I don't remember how at the moment. Be careful, Mega Man. It looks like they've got you surrounded. Oh, they're small reaver bots. It's fine. Mega Man, are you alright? Yeah, no problem. Do you see a door? That should be the way out. It's not far from your current position. Use the circle button to investigate items and open doors. Okay. By the way, I we are playing the PSN version, but I do have this game on disc for both Legends and Legends 1, as shown in the thumb that's gonna be shown in the thumbnails for the videos. I'm just playing the PSN versions because my discs I got them used and they're not in the greatest condition. So I don't want to risk any of like the voice line skipping or anything like that. So playing the PSN version still run perfectly. Watch out! There's something right in front of you. Yes, very scary. Not seeing anything to investigate around here, so let's just press on. Anything around here? Nope. Hold it! Don't move! Looks like it didn't see you. It looked like a reaver boss. We were lucky.
Let's just do that end. Oh, can't climb on that. Can break it open though. You might find orange energy cube. Rabbits recharge your life energy. Okay. So at least this game doesn't... F it it kind of plays similar to like tank controls, but you can still move any way you want. It's still a little odd though. Energy barrier there. Mega Man, I'm picking up a reaver bot. Oh, I see it. You, watch out. Gotcha. So that should have also taken care of the barrier back along the other way. And we found some Zenny in a treasure chest. Nice. And also, a Power Razor. It's a Mega Man Buster part. Alright, so Mega Man can only equip two at a time, and this one only gives attack plus one. Later on, we'll have ones that uh, increase your statistics by more than just one, or multiple statistics at once. Mega Man, I'm showing a large blip in front of you. It's probably a Reaver bot. Be careful. Huh? Mega Man, can you hear me? I'm losing you! The transmission's breaking! Wolf? Are you alright? Can you hear me? Reaverbot's probably messing with the transmission. He really went to swing in there. Gotcha. That wasn't too bad. Dead. Look at that sky. I'm glad to have to say it after being underground for so long. Hmm, I wonder where Roar went. Uh, Mega Man? It's back! Back for more? trapped.
Or not. Hold on. We're taking off. Roger. We just pulled it back to the future two on him. Later, loser. So yeah, these reaver bots stand guard over ruins to protect the fractures and treasure within. Fractors? I meant to say refractors. Well, job well done. Phew. Nice timing, Roll. Anytime, Mega Man. I'm sorry, Mega Man. I had some engine problems, and... It's okay, Roll. But I'm glad you showed up when you did. All's well that ends well, right? And we were able to get a refractor. We should be able to get by with that for a while. If only the mother load were as easy to find as this. Don't worry, we'll find it someday. And your parents, too. Thanks, I know we will. Oh, the engine's overheating. The smoke's so thick I can barely see. What? I guess uh -oh. the flutter's in worse shape than I thought. Oh, the number five feeder's going crazy. She can't take much more of this. Gramps? Can you open up the number 11 valve again? Got it! We'd better find some place to sit down. Mega Man, check the map. There's an island called Cadlox about 100 miles southwest. Good! Check! Oh, down we go. Oof. Oh, that would definitely be a concussion. Well, the ship's toast. This looks pretty bad. I don't think it'll be safe to set foot in here for quite a while. We've been pushing her so hard. Haven't been taking good enough care of her. We'll just have to fix her up. Looks like the repairs aren't going to be finished anytime soon. We'll be here for a while, I guess. This island, what do you call it, Mega Man? Cattle locks? Must have a town or a city somewhere. Think you could go take a look around? You got it, Gramps. Ah, now I can... Now I can kick with both feet when I'm around friendly people. Well, I would walk 500 miles. Yeah, okay. Right. Oh. It's the coppers. Looks like everyone's all right. Oh, by the way, this dancing monkey here, his name's Data, and he will save your game for you. Cute little dancing monkey. Right, so, let's head into town. Ok, 
can't examine that. You're afraid of reaver bots and whatever else might be down there. Well, you, you could not block the door so we could get in, but okay. Oh. Interesting. No. This is a no parking zone. But look, serve bots. Miss Tron? Parking ticket, right. Yeah, serve bots are essentially the mascots of the Mega Man Legend series. And essentially all the only thing that Cap Capcom ever acknowledges from the series. Since this these games never got a proper like finale. You know, <coughs> Mega Man Legends 3. <coughs> I'm sorry, what? Uh, yes. I, I, I just spoke to him, though. Maybe I had to talk to him more? crash land and came to check up on us well you certainly put on quite a show certainly but it looks like everyone's all right let me welcome you to Catalox island thanks now i'd like to ask one of you to come with me to the station we need you to fill out some immigration forms so you can get your registration and id card you can't enter the city without one don't worry. It won't take very long. While you're waiting, you can spend your time in the shopping arcade next to the city. You don't need an ID card to get in there. <laughs> Are you ready to go, Professor? Oh, boy. Oh, well, there he goes. Bye, Gramps. for parts we could use for repairs. Yeah, maybe. Let's go take a look. Now, I, I, I may have mentioned that the voice acting in this game is great. It, it's not terrible, it's not the greatest either, but I think it's very charming. Not not all the voices are great, but a, lo a lot of them do like a really good job for the most part. Okay, so now we can go in? Yeah, there we go. Jetlag Bakery? A lot of comics, but they're sealed in vinyl bags, so people can't read them without buying them. There's some dirty magazines on the racks. It might be fun to look at them. But there's so many people around. You'd get in trouble if someone saw you. Oh, we better not then. Uh, so let's go into... The electronic shop, maybe? Oh, never mind. <laughs> okay, to the junk shop we go then. Wait, can I... I can kick the garbage can, can't I? I can also kick the can. Who throws away a refractor shard? Well, that got us some money. Also, if you can kick that can, 
behind the counter in the jet lag bakery, you'll get some goodie goodies. So this this is that new game called Mega Man Legends. It looks pretty interesting. I should hope so. Nice. I can't believe these people are just throwing away money. Alright, that's actually empty. So let's go into the junk shop. Alright, so he's on a dig. Sure. Well, we can take a look for him. Certainly. Also, for some reason, you can do, like, bad actions in this game. And it'll turn Mega Man, like, a deep shade of blue. To show that you're, like, turning into a bad boy. I don't know why that's a thing, and I don't know if it actually influences anything, but... Yeah. But, in addition to, like, the buster parts and the special weapons... You can also find energy canteens, which basically serve at this game's energy tanks or E-tanks. Alright, so sounds like the guy did actually build up the courage to come in. We should try to find him. Can't quite hit that one properly. Nah, we can't really seem to hit it at all, really. Nah, not landing. You also want to keep an eye out for, like, cracks in the walls. Because sometimes it'll have, like, an item hidden within it. I don't know if there's any in the starting area. Oh, there is. Nice. I'm coming, I'm coming. Hold your horses. Twenty six hundred zenny. That is not a small amount. That guy just swooshed on in. I'm coming, I'm coming. You okay there, dude? Oh, look at him. He's dancing. Mr. Blue Boy. Okay. Well, he wasn't lying. There he goes. Bye, dude. Is there anything else in here? Wake up. The, the whole rap, this whole thing with the rapid fire that I was talking about, it works a lot better if uh, you have points put into, if you have buster parts that up your speed. As it stands, it's not working out so much like this.
Also, the more energy that you have, the more points they have put into Mega Man's energy stat, the more uh, shots that you can have on screen at a time as well before Mega Man has to wait. Rapid fire increases rapid by one. Nice. That's about all we can do here for now, so let's get out of here. Oops, not that way. Okay, we are out of here. It looks like a spotter's car. Wonder if it would run if we fixed it up. Probably. Got the mine parts kit. You can have it if you want. It doesn't run anymore, but you should be able to use it to exchange buster parts and stuff. I've got weapons and upgrades and other stuff I can sell you. What was my name? <laughs> I remember this. My name is Hippopotamus. <laughs> Come back soon, Mr. Hippopotamus. They will call you that for the rest of the game now. <laughs> ah, that makes sense. Might have better luck digging for him yourself. If you've got a Class B Digger's License, you can get into the ruins in the Southern Forest, or the one up north in the Closer Woods. Alright, sounds like we can't actually shop just yet. There's a sign that says, Please Insert Citizen's Card. Oh, are you? Well, let's tell Roll. Mega Man, were you able to find anything? Oh. If you can't find any parts in town, I guess we'll have to try digging for them ourselves. That's what the man at the junk store said. That might take a while. Which means... Huh? Mega Man, what's that? It looks like a weapons upgrade module. Oh, this? Yeah, the junk store man gave it to me. He said we could use this car to hook it up. You mean we can use this car? Yeah. Well, come on then. Let's get it attached right away. There, it's ready. This weapon lets you use landmines. Just drop them in front of an oncoming enemy, and boom! 
Just remember, there's a limited number of mines, so make sure you use them sparingly. Do you want me to explain what this weapon does again? No. I'll get to work on fixing this car up. I'll be able to help you out and maybe spot for you if I can get it running again. Okay, so as we find weapon mo oh. Ah, there you are. I've been looking for you so I could give you this. Your citizen's card. Nice. Now you'll be able to use the city gates. Of course, there are some gates that can't be opened, but... Why's that? Pirates. We've received information that indicates there are some headed this way. So as a precaution, we're evacuating the civilians and locking the gates. I see. Pirates? Um, our grandfather is still inside the city. Will he be all right? Well, I'm sure he's heard the announcements about the pirates. If I see him, I'll make sure he gets to a safe place. If you'll excuse me. Okay, bye. I'm worried about Gramps. I hope he'll be okay. I'll go look for him. You wait here. Okay, Mega Man. Be careful. Yeah, as you find different weapons modules, you can bring them to roll, and she'll craft them into special weapons for you. Eventually, she'll fix up the car here, and you can use it to get around the island more quickly as well. She'll also be able to upgrade, I think with, with Zenny, she'll be able to upgrade your weapons so that they're more powerful, and that they have more energy so that you can use them more often. Okay, so we now have a new meter which shows the energy on the right there, which shows the energy for our special weapon. Oh yeah, we need to sneak up on these guys here, I think. Or maybe I have to talk to them first. Yeah, secret meeting. If I'm careful, I should be able to get close without them noticing. There we go. She has to be a pirate. She said she was looking for treasure. Uh-oh. It's that blue guy again. Alright, so we'll play up to meeting Miss Tron Bond, and then we'll be stopping, I think. Okay, got it? Once the decision's made, there's no turning back. Nothing less than 100%. And remember... It's more than just guns and ships. It's whoever has the most information that wins, right? Right, we understand. You need to keep your costs and risks as low as possible and stay on schedule. That's right. You've got it. Huh? There what she are you is. Looking at? Hmm. Okay. Maybe I'll play a little bit more just to see a certain cutscene first. But yeah, that's the legendary Tron Bon, a fan favorite character, who was so popular that she even got her own spin off series uh, The Misadventures of Tron Bon. That is also going to be part of the Vault series, by the way. So bizarre. And she's got like that metal crotch plate, which is very odd. 
But yeah, a lot of fans love Tron. So I think we go visit the mayor now? Maybe? Oh, uh, maybe it's the police officer then. Uh, the police office, that is. Station. Whatever. old friend of the mayor's. Oh. Okay, maybe I can go to the mayor's office now? Now that we know he was friends with the mayor. Thank you. Hey, Mega Man! Come to check up on me, eh? Here, let me introduce you to the mayor of this island, Amelia. I'm Amelia. Nice to meet you. I'm an old friend of Professor Barrow's. I worked as his assistant for a while, while I was in school. I see. <laughs> it's a small world, isn't it? To tell you the truth, we've gotten reports that there are some pirates headed this way. I was asking the professor if he might have any idea what they're after. I'll bet anything they're after the legendary treasure supposedly buried on this island. There are a lot of stories about the treasure, but no one knows exactly what it is. I thought maybe you might know something about it, professor. I've been in the digging business a long time but I haven't been able to find out anything about this island's treasure except legends and myths. Look, Mega Man, I'll be here for a while talking with Amelia. So why don't you go back and keep an eye on Roll? Tell her not to worry about me, okay? You got it, Grimps. So, I could be remembering this wrong, but I seem to recall that the, the mayor's voice actress would go on to voice... Mega Man in Le Mega Man Legends 2. I could be wrong about that. Uh, it's a dog! Dog? What? Oh. Oh dear. What's that all about? What? <laughs> what did I ever do to you? <laughs> okay. Maybe we should help the poor girl out. We are a hero, after all. Oh, and be careful while walking around the uh, the city here. The cars can and will run you over if you're not paying attention. There she is. You okay there? What are you staring at? I'm not a circus clown or something. You Man, sure? Paprika? Hey, cut it out! Don't you know you can't treat girls that way? I thought I was supposed to kick the dog. <laughs> hey, hold on. Down, boy. Down! Alright, bye, dog. You all right? Uh, uh, um. Oh, them eyes. 
She's, uh, she's looking a little thirsty there. Just a little. Oh. You... You just mind your own business! <laughs> How very soon of you. What a weirdo. Oh well, I'm sure we'll never see her and her serve bots again. Ever. Alright, so I think this will be a good stopping point. I think that's a fairly good showcase of the game. Um, so, it, yeah, it is a little dated, but it still holds up pretty good. And the sequel, like, the visuals and the cutscenes in that game are, like, stunning for, like, late PS1. But, um, yeah, as for this game, it's still pretty good. I like it.